we had a clip where we used the shark to like perma stun Conjunctivius. And I think maybe that resulted in a new. Maybe. Possibly. Did, did it not hit the platform? Was the angle not the platform itself? For those who have not kept up with the Dead Cell streaking, we have multiple things turned off. <laughs> uh, one is maximum number of potions. Two, merchandise categories turned off. Three, permanent timer. That means that the malaise is always ticking until I cleanse the map. Four, curse level 15. That means you have to kill 50% more monsters while cursed. You could run into an elite. You could run into a Mario Maker trap puzzle. A lot of things that can happen. Uh, quality, no S rank on the table unless it's a colorless item or a legendary. Potions no longer heal infection. Food is more moldy than ever before. Um, assist mode is on, but it's the opposite. We're assisting the monster, not assisting the streamer. Enemy health, 150. Enemy damage, 150. Uh, we also have mandatory YOLO as our first mutation. So we are eating a mutation slot. Minor forge disabled. V, what does that mean? Once we get into a transition area, you're gonna find out right away. Is fog. Fog of war. It's not super gimmicky. But then, like, at least a little bit noticeable when we play through the game. We gotta figure out what 17 BC is. We're gonna disable recycling. You know, we've actually been spending a lot of money on health flasks and stuff like that. Poverty run? There will still be, like, gems on the ground. I don't think I can get rid of the gems. The impoverished run? Come to find out, having no money is a problem. You would think I would know that, but when it comes to Dead Souls, I thought it was a non-issue. But when you're trying to play a certain color and you don't actually have the money to buy a weapon, life sucks. It truly does. It's kind of nutty. Look at that. I broke. I can't afford any. We're praying to RNG gods right now. Want to say it's this? No kill rhythm, no V.30. Frost Blast the Goat. I don't get to play it very much. So this is actually pretty good. We only had one monster left to kill? My god. Believers. Ooh. Oh my god, I did the wrong direction. I didn't cocoon. Really wish I had victim slow nearby targets. Yeah, first mutation, YOLO mandatory. It's annoying because this could have been kill rhythm, which means I may have been able to get out these attacks before I get hit. No, it geometried me. How is that possible? No one remembers geometry after high school. What are you using it for? Gaming? <laughs> I don't think so. A hey, weapon shop? Give me a... Oh, I'm broke. Never mind. I don't even show me anything. Um, so if you get $4,000, a small loan of $4,000, you might be in good shape. Mandatory bank in 20 BC? That is on the table, yes. I can't say when. I can't say why. I can't say how. This is... Uh, and as a challenge rift too. Come on. Sure game. So funny enough, malaise is going up in the challenge rift. I can't just go in there. Uh, struggle streets, people. This is um a very interesting way to play the game. Oh, there is. Oh, that's much better. In before, it doesn't help at all. Are we able to turn off Explorer's Instinct? Yes. 
that is a, a thing. It's not a very high level issue, I feel. Damage check, maybe. Not very high damage. But maybe there's a, re a requirement, at least to clear the curse. My god. Am I doing damage? Why was that so tanky? Okay. Always activate Rift before doing anything. Five things I wish I knew. Dead Cells Edition. I don't know which is going to be better. Something behind me too. I have a sneaking suspicion. Neither are good right now. Bound. Half HP. RMB. I just don't have the skills for it. Seven thousand dollars. Bones to Groot. Maybe it's this. Okay. Fake tactics. Why do I always get shark at RMB? Because the devs know that's the person who's gonna showcase it. Ooh, if we acrobatic pack frost blast. No, I think we need point blank. I can't see. I thought I had cocoon in my defense. Two health flasks. Or we wait. My god, if I die in the challenge rift because I didn't get the health flask used. Okay, we're playing to win. Uh, I didn't get the reset on my cocoon. Help. How, how does this happen? Just send me in. No, it honestly can't be any worse right now. Whatever happens in this challenge roof cannot be anything worse than what we just had. V, what was that? What was what? <laughs> We're fine. This is exactly where I want to be, game-wise. Like, I need you all on your seats. I think I said it before, but if we weren't dying, then what's the point of the 17 beats? Because between 10 malaise, lack of health pots, lack of mutations, lack of money, Lack of brain usage. Um, there's a lot going on. Mordas had a food shop? Yeah, but I have no money. I had to reset a thousand. We could probably still path towards one eventually, but four thousand dollars, there's no way I'm getting any food shops. Should have left that. Never mind. I, I guess it was perfect that I took that. I thought I still had time. I can't even see. Oh, you forgot about money? 
<laughs> Billionaire talk right there. Funny enough, Necromancy is not half bad. <laughs> We're already at 13% from being basically zero. Why do I keep getting the food? I should leave the food because at the end of the biome, I obviously can't necro myself back. So you may as well just do the food last. Unless you're at zero HP, then the same mistake from the beginning could happen. Oh. No. Ain't no way. I forgot pink tentacles existed. I think it came up at freaking 300 miles per hour. That's messed up. Oh wow, the health bar moving across the screen looks really weird to me. See, yeah, like I would have been 50 right now. I'm almost back up to 50. I don't know what I would take. Something to replace the cannon? Against Conjunctivious? Hmm. So basically, my whole goal right now is to coast on the gear I have right now. And hope that, like, nothing else is required to beat the game. If the game wants more out of me, I don't know if I have that to give. Seems okay all of a sudden. I don't think anything necessarily changed. Maybe my mental changed. Maybe my spiritual has changed, and now we don't lose. See? <laughs> What's this? 40% bu -bu bonus damage. It's pretty nice, but I'd have to reset. And would lose even more money. 8,000. Wish us luck, everybody. A legendary wouldn't be half bad, either. I feel like, uh... All of our legendary luck is down the drain. Better than turret? Level four, maybe? Ah, zero damage. I favor. I don't even think point blank would help with this. There we go. Okay. You know what? Not terrible. This could have been 50 times worse. Where's my cocoon? Okay, I promise you I hit the cocoon button. I think because I was mid-attack, the game said, no, no, no. What you really want to do is electric whip. Not cocoon. You can't do both. Okay, Groot. Looking massive right now. 
Get my axe back. Okay, fair. A little greedy of me to like stutter step like that. This is the hit? I'm surprised it doesn't at least like try to shoot at you while it's grooted. It can't charge. Um, it just doesn't know what to do at all. Do I, do I report that? Hey devs, I, I have be <laughs> I have found a way to beat the boss and I don't like that. Let's get rid of it before anyone else does it. But only after I do it. Today is, so every once in a while, I don't know if you all get this. Every once in a while, I have days where you're just losing every game you play. As long as I don't do the Mimic. So yeah, like you play Dead Cells, you're dying in 17 BC, you swap over to Apex Legends, you die as soon as you drop in. Isn't Graveyard objectively better? I don't know if I can get $8,000 in Graveyard. But we can, we can certainly guarantee I have the money here. Um, I think the curse is up here. Why did you... Did that thing leave the money pile? Every day with these assassin daggers. Ain't no way I'm touching that. Oh, that was up behind me. Now we're just paranoid. That's how bad 17 BC is. You're getting paranoid when you play. I've never touched Assassin's Dagger in my life, not even with the Phaser. I would play with Phaser if this build somehow turned into Survival Phaser. With that thing, then sure. That's asking for an awful lot. Ooh, I didn't realize that poster in the background has like the Mimic icon. You know what would be really cool? is if that poster somehow was a tell of which shop is the Mimic. That's fine, we have Necro. Necro healing for 1.1. I went up 4%, I'm pretty sure. So someone said that it's bug, it gives you double. Are we reporting that? This has. Oh my god, I actually didn't freaking do it. Time. Depends on how many times you get tagged. <laughs> that did just happen. You're, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Stop getting hurt and we'll be able to answer the question. Damn. Stars. That's a legendary. Winnable? Legendary Sonic Carbine. Barb tips? What does this thing even do? Toxicity? Um... I don't think that's gonna help us. And we can't aim up anymore. I think that's the worst part. Oh my god, the teleportation speeds. For those of you who don't play on a 5 BC, the monsters teleport to you, as you can see, but they teleport to you faster if your malaise is too high. I should probably do Celeste. I don't really want to. And we're gonna go to 10 malaise because of it. 
I think a lot of this run is banking on colorless items. Oh, I guess I need the money from Celeste anyway. No, we cannot recycle. The, the entire button has been removed. Though now that I think about it, maybe it would have been funnier to keep the button. So like, just insult to injury, it somehow doesn't do it. That might require some programming though. We do have extra jumps. Makes that an easy clap. Ooh, disconnected. Hopefully we don't need that. Okay, so we got enough money. That's good. Oh my god, I actually thought... I could defend myself there. Legendary. Quick bow? Wait, is that... Maybe that's better than carbine. I think that's asking for a lot. Why are there so many monsters? Okay, Toxic Cloud, Crit. I think it's literally better Carbine. It has self synergy. I. Please, please don't be a mimic. Okay. Self synergy quick bow. I wonder if the boy axe counts for the crit. Like as an arrow? I think it does. That's kind of poggy. Um, the last time we did Dead Cells BC climbing, I died in Sepulchre. That was, um... Crap, I want to see if there's a jump puzzle here. There actually is. Not that bad. But if I can bypass it... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely a good decision. Alright, let's see what we got. Wave of Denial, I will actually take that. I hovered over Tactics because I, I honestly feel like I'm playing Tactics right now. Oh, that's the crab. We have a happy birthday right here, but honestly, I'd rather not do that while cursed. Okay, tell you what. We down slam, but we don't commit to the down slam. We do this. It did not stay stunned at all. And I can't see what I'm doing. Freaking mummy behind it? I didn't even see that. Why are you shooting? You're against the wall. <laughs> it's jump scares. What is going on? Double curse. That's 30 monsters worth of curse. Wait, Valmont sounds kind of fun, but... We'll leave it. If a legendary Valmont whip showed up, I will take double Valmont. 
This red cocoon would be nice. Standard green Zombo? I'll take that. Free kill. Um, someone was saying that I could just wait out monsters to spawn. Which, when you're already at 10 malaise, that's definitely something you can do. Like, you as the viewer, you're watching, and now I'm stalling. I'd rather just push forward. And monsters will hopefully spawn while I'm pushing. Uh, what's the secret to your beauty? If we're talking, like face and hair i was saying earlier about <laughs> the korean skin products that we have in the uh bathroom oh my god that scared me i would show you all what they were if i wasn't convinced that someone would go and buy it out on amazon and now i can't even get it anymore not to say that i don't want to help you all out but <laughs> i was selfish <laughs> You have to find your own. And this was way back in the day where you had to like have website that is in country only. You would get almost like a sponsor to buy the product. And then they ship it to you for like an upcharge. Like that's how intense it was. But now you could just go to freaking TJ Maxx and buy Korean products if you want. The boy. Triple boy, triple pogs. If uh, we did not run this, I'd be highly concerned. V, now I know you're trolling. <laughs> v, remember when you said you wouldn't ban legendaries? Because you're going to get jack squat? What happened? You still think that or no? Yo, I've died. Well, okay. I shouldn't say anything because I could literally die at any point right now. Like, chat, you may think that this is a busted build, and by all means it is, but this is 17 BC. What are we going to do with the shield? I would like this to become Armadillo Pack if we're going Timekeeper. I guess we're not because we're going Giant now. Do I necessarily need Armadillo Pack? I'd like it. I wonder how Kill Rhythm would work with this. Crap, I wish I had more money. 12k? I would love to see Kill Rhythm. Bombard would be nice, I think. $6,000? That's half my money! We reset. $4,000 to reset, I think. This is just assuming it's better on bosses. Because biomes, I think we're fine now. Holy crap. What in the world happened in this run? This was an emotional roller coaster. Is Boyax good for Giant? It is when you have three of them. I can say that much. It'd be better if I had, like, self-synergy. These do bonus the Grooted target, by the way. So let me show you all what it looks like without Kill Rhythm. And then this is with Kill Rhythm. And you all tell me if there's a difference. B, I, I can't tell. Honestly, unless you give me the frame data, like we're playing Street Fighter 6 featuring Cami and Lily, it, it's the same thing. And then we get point blank. 33% buff up bonus damage. Oh, is the voltation? Wait, that's kind of hypey. I'm looking like Magneto with the side of a Akuma. It's for all the marbles, all the Dead Cells marbles. I missed. Okay, in my defense, this is a 50% uh, bonus HP giant. Maybe you can only do so much to his health bar. Please! There we go. Don't worry, bottle. I was? That's not what the bullies said in high school. 
Oh, wow, all of my malaise just melted away. It's like we applied essential oils to my malaise, and now they're all gone. And you too can relieve your malaise for only $19.99 sent over PayPal via cryptocurrency. Legendary. Legendary. I could use a skill. Game? Legendary. No, skip not allowed. Legendary Cleaver? Tesla? I'll even take a heavy turret. All of that would be awesome right now. <laughs> we went full circle? That's hilarious. We'll backpack it. In the rare event that somehow that's a thing. How many times have you lost in 17 BC and all of a sudden you get five legendaries in one run? Seems sus. Show controller or else pre-recorded content. I can't show my controller because Buster's laying on it. What am I supposed to do? If you pick him up, that's that's a freaking coin flip. One day it's like you're he's fine, he's ragdoll. The other day, you got nine inch nails in your hands. I'm definitely not gonna knock anyone who plays this game on anything. As long as you're playing the game, I'm happy. If you're using touch controls on your uh iPhone, you're just as much of a gamer as the person playing with wiggle controls on the Wii. Which is just as much as someone using motion control on their Wii U. They're both equally valid. What if you play on dance pad? Like uh, Super Lewis, that's what's up. I uh... I would not mind trying to play Dead Cells on gamepad, but I don't know where I would find one. That's not something you can buy at Walmart, right? Oh my god, I had no idea what that was. I thought that was a gangplank bomb. Mine is pretty decent. The only thing that I have issues with, number one, every once in a while, based off of like finger positioning, I'll hit the R2 button. It's like really sensitive. Um, and I like to rest my my middle finger around that area not on the controllers r2 button but like right behind it and then the other issue with it is it has flippers on the back um and i had to disable them because i don't care to use them and they are actually in my way but by default they were on something they might still be on something that does nothing oh wow I had to change this to just move right. Um, that used to be the B button, like straight out of the box. That used to be my dodge roll. So I would constantly dodge roll by mistake. If any of you all are like what you're seeing, maybe you're a fan of Dead Cells, maybe you're a fan of other roguelikes, maybe you're a fan of League of Legends or Hitman, which is now a roguelike. Follow the channel. We do this every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday. As far as I know, that's today. Struggle Street to get to this point. We're not done yet though. We can still, absolutely still lose. We need this win in order for Buster to love me again. We didn't think it was possible to beat 17 BC. And then the game said, hold my beer. Um, Bombard really good against Hand the King, because he can't auto-kill it. It's very tanky. Wow. Um, I can also just stand there. He is really tanky. I think what happened is that the animation of me throwing all the boy axes, um, I kind of wasn't able to do the dodge roll. That's my guess. Moral of the story, don't hold down the buttons infinitely. You have to let go of the throw button at some point. All right, final area. If there was ever a way to lose, it would be right here. 
Oh, I thought that was a legendary. You got my hopes up, game. Not the food shop. Unlucky. You know, having maskers on this map, kind of evil. I didn't know. Why do I feel like I've never experienced that before? But we're on 17 BC. How has that never happened? Yeah, I I feel like I've never considered that those go invisible. Almost as if that's never happened. Wait, it shot up. Why didn't it shoot up in the first place? Things wasting my time. So I have to hold down the X and the Y button while I play. So like for me to do maximum, for me to do maximum DPS, I'm holding down two buttons, but then there's like the whole action of having to pull the arrows back. So, it's not always available to hold both buttons. And then come to find out, there's some timing where if you are holding the buttons, you cannot dodge roll. So, it's like, it's a little harder than some of the ice shard stuff we've been doing. And like, I guess hard is in air quotes. I guess I'm only making it harder for myself. 34 survival. That's 23,000 HP. Oh, yeah. That's a 5k HP bonus. And there's a survival scroll right there. Come on now. Does that mean you would take the health? I don't think you take... Wait, no, no, no. You're telling me you would take the damage? I don't think so. 5,000 HP. That's huge. Um... We'll buy the health pot. Emergency triage would be really nice, I think. It's like $2,000 for me to reset. I don't think I can find it. $4,000? I was $600 away from being able to have emergency triage just for safety. Even Soldier's Resistance for safety could be nice. Now we just have to rely on pure damage to get us through here. Which is, like, fine, I suppose. Um, I also didn't check the weapon shop, but I wouldn't have the money to buy anything. Um, if you like what you see, follow the channel. Sub if you have Amazon Prime for free Twitch subs. YOLO is active. That's a world record. Longest YOLO ever carried throughout 17 BC. To be fair, you can say this is our game to lose right now. I know how you can screw it up. Absolutely. Stuff like that? A little weird. That's how you screw it up. Sometimes you don't know what the boss is actually doing. Sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. To Sippa? Can't get the triple? Staying nice and close for this point blank. What was that? No exclamation points. Big Sippa. That can kill you. Ooh! Every single dot that you see on his legs and his stomach. We put an axe in every single one of them. Like boom, boom, boom. Dead.
All it took was a a run with five legendaries in it. We cycled through almost every single one of them without me or nothing. And then finally landed on double, which is essentially triple Boyax, a Bombard, and a Wave of Denial. You can see the run timer, hour 45. That was from a lot of AFKing and a lot of decision paralysis. Now, you may be wondering to yourself, 17 BC is long behind us. What's next? 18 BC. I don't know what I have planned for 18 BC. I have some ideas. Again, we want to move little notches, considering that we have died multiple times in 14, 15, 16, 17. I think there's an argument to say that the game is trying to get into, like, not quite peak performance of difficulty, but we're getting close. You finished 17 BC, why well, can't even get to Hand the King of 5 BC GG's? Maybe if you hop, if you jump straight to 17 BC, you'll get the win. <laughs> For all you know, 5 BC is the issue. It's 17 BC that's not.